antibiotic 500 milligrams in 100 mils to be given over 30 minutes using 20 drops factor of giving set. So first thing we need to understand here is that this 500 milligram antibiotic um, dry ingredient, let's say, is already dissolved in the 100 mils that we're going to infuse. So we cannot use the milligrams, we have to use the mils, the volume, to be infused over 30 minutes using a 20 drop giving set. So what do we usually do there? We could say, well, we we'll use the volume that we have in milliliters divided by the time in minutes, because as soon as we see that we are using a drop factor, or a drop set, we must go down to the minutes and then multiply it by the drop set. So volume in milliliters, time in minutes, and the drop set is in drops per mil. So let's see how this is going to look. The volume is 100 mils divided by the time in minutes. It's already in minutes, so there's no need to convert hours into minutes. Multiplied by 20 drops per mil. As we usually see, the mils cancel out, mil on the top, mil on the bottom. And all we have to do now is either multiply the 100 by 20 and then divide by 30. Or we could do 100 divided by 30 and then multiplied by 20. It really doesn't matter which in which order we do these operations because multiplication and division have the same priority. Let's try to do a mental calc before we do anything anyway. 30 into 100. Well, 3 30s would be 90. How many 30s I can fit into 100? So a bit more than 3. So 3 times 20 would give us 60. So I'll leave it on the side here. 60 is our estimate. It's not the final answer, of course, because we didn't use, uh, we didn't actually get the exact answer. So let's do that division and multiplication. And what we get is 66.6666 and never ends here. So looking at our estimate 60, so this is quite good. Remember, I always say it's important to know that we are in the right size of this quantity if we had 600 as our answer in the calculator or 6 0 0.6 we would know we would we would be in the wrong um, quantity there because we wanted something around 16 60. so being uh, an infusion using a drop set we cannot provide an answer with a decimal point, drops per minute is our final answer. Drops per minute. So it must be rounded off to a whole number. There are no fractional drops, no decimal numbers for drops. So in this case, we just do a mathematical uh, rounding. Rounding to a whole number, the breaking line sits right at the decimal point line. So it can only be 66 or 67. Looking at the next digit straight after the breaking line, we have a 6 and 6 together with a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are the ones who tell us to round up. So this has to be 67 drops per minute.